Oh my god, what just happened right? Oh god. Oh god, this is big. Whatever this is, this is a nice fish. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. We are still camping on the ice in the old JR fish house. But you know, last video that you guys saw, we were fishing inside of there. It was our first night. We were fishing inside of there, doing a little bit of camping. Today is gonna be more of like a full send fishing mission. We are here with the JR Guide Service. I will leave them linked down below. Our buddy Brandon is gonna be taking us out today. We'll go talk to him in a second, but we're gonna drive about six miles up the lake here, trying to go catch some walleyes with Brandon. Then we're gonna bring him back to the old JR Fish House, and we're gonna see if we can do a little catch, clean, cook action for you guys. And then we'll do some fishing and camping to end the night inside of there. So let's go talk to Brandon real quick. Oh God, yeah, we got the old tracks, the UTV tracks right there, enclosed, nice and heated. Howdy. Morning. How's it going? This is Brandon, the guy for the day, like, as I was explaining. Brandon, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to hopefully go uh, smack some walleyes this afternoon, this morning and afternoon. We're going to be fishing six foot of water off of some rocks. Fishing bites have been pretty good throughout the day up on the north end, so that's where we're going. And then we got these three yahoos in the back. How are you guys feeling this morning? You're so the one good. wearing two glasses. <laughs> True. We got Adam, Nick, and then Ryan. The homies are uh, still here with me. We're gonna go hopefully get some walleyes. Yes, it's super bright out today. It's about to, it's gonna get to about 40 degrees, so super warm today as well. I got the glasses on top of the glasses strat. You guys know me. I'm blind as hell. We got a long ways to drive here. Well, we made it to the first spot of the day. We're gonna be fishing like a big, a big flat pretty much. It's about a six foot flat. And there's like a rock line that we're gonna be kind of fishing parallel to. So there's like a rock line. We're just gonna be like fishing the edges of it. We're in the middle of freaking nowhere. Ryan's over there punching holes for us. Brandon's gonna start punching some holes too. And we're gonna get to fishing. So I'm gonna get everything situated, get the chesty on, and I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, first spot, first drop. We are using today just this VMC spoon right here. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but I know it's a VMC 16th ounce little like, kind of like a flutter spoon. I got that perch color right there and a minnow head as a tippage. Might have to switch baits today, but we're gonna start with the good old minnow head. And we're dropping down today. And I will be using a lighter rod uh, than I normally would like to use. I'm using like more of my like crappie rod because I'm letting my friend use my water rod. So this might be a little bit different. It is a beautiful day out here, 40 degrees, super nice out. I think this is more of like a day bite, Brandon was saying. He was saying that these walleyes just kind of bite all throughout the day. So we're just gonna stay out here for a couple hours, see if we can get a few on the ice for you guys and bring it back and cook them up. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm marking. Hold on, hold on. I'm marking. Hold up. I'm marking. Mark. There we go. First fish on the phone. Oh, what's up? A freaking crappie to start the day. What the hell? I did not expect that. I thought it was gonna be a walleye, but I was jigging in about, uh, what did you say? Five feet of water. This crappie came out of nowhere. Smoked her. There we go. First fish of the day. Nice little crappie. The skunk is out, man. The skunk is out. Well, literally the GoPro died as I dropped down this new hole. Just smoked a nice fish right there. That's a good like, eh, I'd probably say close to 19. 19 inches right there, definitely a good table fare. We're gonna get this guy on the freaking ice, boys. There we go. First one of the day for me. I like this. All right, freaking GoPro's dying, that's not cool. Freaking GoPros, I'll tell you what, but fishing again like that six feet range, this fish came flying in from the bottom, absolutely smoked me. Didn't take a second to hesitate. Oh, Mark, 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 all over me. Oh, all over me, gonna get smoked. There he is, there's another one. Oh God, this one feels just as good as my first one there. Oh yeah, not a bad one. Hell yeah, let's go. Dude, they are just rolling in though, but this is another nice fish like that. Only have two more fish for my freaking limit, boys. All right, another nice quality fish came in. Boom, 
that's two now that mark came from the bottom and just hammered me perfect you love to see it these these wallers are really aggressive like it's kind of hard to mark them but once you do mark them you're not going to have a problem catching them because they're so aggressive right now they're just coming up and kerplunk and again i'm catching these fish on a freaking crappie rod which is making these fights a lot more fun palm are you on let's go ah ah just, hold, just leave it there leave it there leave it there nice bro there you go that's your first Woo! one jigging right oh yeah we eating that tonight or what oh yes buddy there we go nice man i'm proud of you all right well that's adam's first walleye ice fishing jigging fish if that makes sense but nice congrats it's another good eater but yeah it's kind of a little bit slow right now these fish are just kind of coming in every i don't know like 15 minutes or so so you just sit here with no marks and then all of a sudden you have a super aggressive mark on you you know that's all right this guy's gonna come plop down right by us, I bet. Right oh, Mark, I'm marking. I'm marking. There we go. Oh, we're hooked up. Oh, there's another one. Snow bear driving by, trying to hide our fish so they don't sit by us, but there's another little guy. I think this one's gonna go back. All right, another one. This is a little guy, so we're gonna let him go. That's my third fish of the day. Let's go. Well, technically fourth fish of the day. I've got three walleye and one crappie. And now the snow bear guy saw me catch a fish and now he's coming to sit by us. All right, so just a little midday update. It's It's been a little bit slow and I actually ran into a subscriber from all the way down in Iowa. My boy Jake up here. Look at that one. And this is your PB, correct? Mm -hmm. Nice, man. Congrats. Super pumped for you, man. It's always nice running into subscribers like Jacob, but we have, I don't know, we're just gonna stay out here a little bit longer. I mean, it's nice out. I am content catching fish, marking fish every 15 minutes or so. Just wanted to give you guys a little update and show Jacob's fish there, but you guys stay tuned. We're probably gonna catch some more fish. You got poop? He could've just asked, I, I mean, they probably got a bathroom in there. He probably just could've went over there. Yeah. Got, hey, you got two hey. to us. Oh, oh, what the heck? I was not paying attention. Something came and bit me. What up, little guy? I was literally talking to my friend Jake here, just not paying attention, and a wally came out of nowhere. Wow, this hole has been producing. I have stayed in the same hole this whole day, but he's gonna go back. He's a little bit too small to keep for me. See you later, dude. Nick, you on? Oh, God! Nick! <laughs> Nick, is this your second fish of the day? Let's see, let me see that. Oh, yeah. Just a little guy, but your first one. Second one, second, second one. one. Here. Oh, Adam, you on? Oh, God. Oh, my God, dinks. Dang, there's just dinks everywhere. Adam just caught one. Guy, Adam? Yeah, Adam just caught one. Nick just caught one. See you later. Down the hole, buddy. Dang, y'all boys are just marking over here now, huh? How big? Oh, God. Oh, Adam's hooked up again. Yep, just, just play it nice. Hey, that's an eater, boy. Let's go, dude. You're just slaying them right now. Adam's over here hooking up left and right. These are the this is the hot hole. Oh, you're using full minnows. <laughs> yeah. That might be the strat because I'm using heads right now. Adam said he's using just a full minnow. And he look at them doinking eaters left and right. Oh man, that's gonna make some good golden crispies. Oh, here's a mark. Here's a mark. Here's a mark. Oh, oh, what the heck? Mark all over me. I had a mark all over me. I didn't want it. Where is he? Dude, I had him marked the exact same time Ryan did. He came right up to me and didn't eat me, though. What the hell? Oh, my God. What just happened right Oh, God. Oh, God. This is big. Whatever this is. This is a nice fish. Just a, not a bad one. There's an eater wall. Oh, my God, dude. I literally, yeah, he crushed it. I just dropped down. I couldn't see my jig. And then I lifted my rod up and I had some weight on there. Woo! boy. Woo! Atta boy. There we go. There's my third keeper of the day. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. All the boys are hooking up. It's starting to be a good day. What's he doing? Not bad size, but just not. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Holy cow, I was not paying attention. Yep, keeper, my last key. Uh, yeah, she'll keep. There we go. I was not paying attention. Ryan hooked up. Look back over here. I had a fish on my freaking hook. Dude, that's my limit. A limited, bro. And there we go. There's your boy's limit. 
Damn good day, damn good day. Now it's just time to fish for fun, and we're gonna go back to the house and then chill after this. Oh God, yeah, that's what we ended up with for this morning slash afternoon evening. I believe we have one, two, three, we have eight walleyes right here. Just wanted to show you guys a little pile pick here before we start slicing and dicing, you feel? All right, Ryan, what are we doing? <laughs> All right, we got the vegetable oil on the, uh, the three burners here, just so it evenly distributes. We got eggs, which is actually gonna go into this bag, and then we're gonna take the fish out of here, put them in this one, roll them around in the eggs, get them all good, and we're gonna put the, uh, we got the, what do we got here, Louisiana. If the Louisiana hey. Season Crispy is gonna go in this bag, we're gonna put from egg into this, straight into the pan for the Golden Crispies. Hot, hot, so good, oh my God, wow. <clears throat> Holy crap, that is so freaking good. I'm telling you what, if you guys haven't had Wally before, you're missing out my friends, you are missing out. You need to have some Wally, it's life changing, that was amazing. Look at that freaking sunset, oh my God, dude absolutely gorgeous outside tonight and we got the all fish house right here getting ready for the night bite tonight adam just got done taking a piss anyways that is where we're going to end today's video hope you guys enjoyed today was honestly the best wallet bite that i've been on yet this year so hope you guys what enjoyed watching that? that get out of here these guys playing jokes i mean i don't know how much longer i can hang out with these fools these fools are crazy look at these guys get out of here i have not been on a good wallet bite yet this year and all it took was hanging out with my guy brandon from the jr guiding service i will leave their link down below make sure to go check them out if you guys want to get walleye topside or any other thing topside what are you doing bro <laughs> oh bro you hurt me uh. Yeah, suck it. As I was saying, if you want to check them out, I'll leave a link down below. Make sure to go check them out. <sighs> I'm out of breath. This is my last night here staying in this house. I don't know how much longer I can take hanging out with these goons. It's freaking tough hanging out with them. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We'll see you guys next time.